Hello, I'm Omar, and today we're going to do an exercise using React.js and Lightning Charts JS. Most likely, you already know what React.js is, but in a nutshell, React.js is a front end JavaScript library focused on a modern web development. Before you begin, I recommend that you take a visit to the Lightning Charts website. There you will find many interactive examples templates of many JS and .NET projects, and articles explaining how to create projects for React, Ionic, Electron, Android, Shamarin, etc. You can also download the tool for .NET, which will allow you to generate Visual Studio projects from any of the available charts. With that said, let's get started. First, you will need to install Node.js. You can do this by downloading the installer from its official page. Once installed, you can check the version using the node version command. If you get the version, Node.js is configured correctly. To create our project, we will navigate to Drive C. You can specify any path of your choice. In that path, a folder will be created with the name of the project that we specify. We'll run the npx create react app command with a blank space and then the name of the project we want. Once the React project is created, you'll have the following file structure. We'll have our style sheet, our JavaScript file, etc. To continue, we need to open a new terminal and install the Action LCJS library. If you look for this folder in node modules, you won't find it until after you've run the install command. We'll now add two CSS classes, which will affect our HTML container. We'll now replace the current code in the app.js file. We'll remove the code generated by React and add our own. In this code, we import our generated object from pychart.js file and import our style sheet. We also assign an ID to our chart object. Now, we will create the pychart.js file. This file will contain the logic to create our chart. If we check the app.js file, we'll see that we imported the pychart component. Now, we'll review the code for the pychart of it. For a more detailed review, I recommend you visit the article in this video. You can see the link in the description. We start by importing the components needed to create a chart. These components are imported from the LCJS library. We also import the React component. We will encapsulate all of our code within the chart object, which will be exported and used in our app component. We'll create an instance of lining charts and use the pi function. We will assign a theme which you can choose from within the Lightning Chart theme catalog. The container will be the HTML div where our chart will be rendered. Now, we will create our slices. The pipe object asks us for two properties, the name and the value. We will create five slices and store them in an array. Now, We'll map our slices and add them to the pie using the add a slice method. Now we'll add a legend box to our pipe object. We will specify the vertical orientation. Lastly, we'll destroy the chart to release resources and return the generated object. In order to see our chart, we will run the npm start command in the terminal. Our browser will open and load the chart.
As you can see, the pie chart has movement animations. The legend box also inherits a control over the slices, allowing them to be hidden or shown. The explain code was obtained directly from the interactive examples for JavaScript. Like this one, you will be able to get the base templates for many other charts within the Lightning Charts catalog. I hope this short tutorial has been to your liking. Thank you for your like and I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and goodbye.